All right, so uh, my name is Mikhail, and this is Gary, and we are from Ellipse Solutions. Uh, we are a long-standing uh, Dynamics AX Global partner, as well as uh, Tier 1 CSP Cloud Service Solution Provider, and a member of the Azure IoT Red Carpet Program, which is the new program within Microsoft dedicated to promoting IoT Internet of Things solutions to the to marketplace. Again, any questions were booth 863, we'll back to chat. Uh, we are sort of in the midst of the uh, new industrial revolution. I'm not going to go through all the uh, history of the industrial revolutions, but we went all the way from labor, labor, manual labor, all the way to the current concept of the Internet of Things, which is the methodology for uh, devices and machines and sensors to work together, communicate together, and also communicate with your systems, with your ERP systems or any type of solutions. So to set the stage for our today's presentation, uh, what we have is a mobile device, which is just a Microsoft Surface. Uh, we have a Windows, universal Windows application, we'll show how to connect it to the other devices as well. We have a Raspberry Pi, which is, if you're not familiar, that's the uh, a single board, um, simple computer, which represents, represents any any machine out there. It could be your uh, uh, remote construction site or manufacturing shop floor machinery. Uh, Raspberry Pi is just more of a educational or practical way to to resolve machine connectivity. Uh, we have a Ma Microsoft Azure IoT suite solution. Um, and then the uh, Power BI for analytics and predictive analytics, and we'll show some examples. Uh, at the center of it all is Microsoft Dynamics AX, and we'll show both version, uh, the Cloud AX7, new Dynamics AX, as well as the on-premise um, AX2012. Right, so uh, let's get quickly to the Azure IoT application. So this is a simple website, basically a web application to monitor uh, in our case, Raspberry Pi, but again, this could be your shop floor machinery or your warehouse and distribution facility equipment or construction site or any equipment you have out there in the field. All right, so the, this is a simple Azure IoT monitoring application. So just quickly to represent what we have here on the left side, it's a map uh, it tracking our device. So as you can guys see, this uh, little Raspberry Pi is currently at, at the New Orleans Convention Center. Uh, right be below that is the alarm history, so where we're going to track all the alarms and notifications from the device. We're going to measure the temperature and humidity, so any times it goes above or below certain levels, it will send notification. Uh, maybe uh, an email or a text or any form of notification. And then on the right side, we have a uh, it's a, a telemetry history graph, and it will represent real-time temperature from the from the Raspberry Pi. So back to our hair blower, or blower, not only because we love to uh, blow hot air. And this is just to represent the hot temperature, and I'm not trying to burn my pipe. So again, real time, it measured the temperature, and uh, basically at this point, your, your uh, shop floor machinery is now on fire. You need to get your maintenance man as soon as possible. Um, in fact, if you can see on the left side, we got some notifications, and if I'll check my text messages. I'm sure I got a text message because I'm a maintenance manager. So this is a simple application, but you really have to imagine how can it be applicable to your equipment and your, your uh, you know, production shop floor. Uh, warehouse or distribution management equipment, or uh, construction site, or any any equipment you may have where you can measure measure. In this case, it's temperature and humidity, but it could be pressure. It could be any any type of uh, quantitative analysis you would like to maintain. So the, the next step, uh, as I said, we, we're center of our presentation, center of our uh, solutions, Dynamics AX. So we'll put this information directly into the new Dynamics AX7. And 
So if you guys, this is the, um, our own menu, our IoT monitoring menu within Dynamics AX7. So the website is blended in and the data is blended also at Dynamics AX. And if you go all the way to the left or to the right, that's the Power BI representation of the same data. So in this case, Power BI collects the temperature, minimum, maximum, average graphs. Um, if you the, haven't worked with Power BI yet, there's a lot of capabilities out of the box and you can build kind of from scratches there as well. So the importance of building this within Dynamics AX is that you have one sort information and you can also tie this data to the financial data. So anything you're measuring as far as the quantities, uh, you know, temperature, liquidity, could be tied to, to financial analysis, to cost analysis immediately, and graphically represented. Not the topic of our today conversation, but machine learning is where you then can do predictive analysis and kind of do predictions for MRP, for uh, cost management. As you see, the uh, little Raspberry Pi kind of is cooling off, so the temperature is coming down. Any questions so far? All right, so we'll switch to the second part. And to kind of complete this solution, to make it a true IoT environment, uh, we're going to show them a mobile device. And yes, in this, in this case, it's a uh, surface. So uh, our, our test application is to report uh, production from the production floor. This is the Surface mobile app, so not, not specifically anything uh, unusual. Many of you, I assume, have done um, mobile application reporting to, to Dynamics AX. The difference in our app is uh, we, we get a lot of questions about what if we lose internet connectivity, how do we deal with lack of network connection. So we build the application where uh, we can temporarily uh, store the data and kind of exercise our risk management to, to to store the data in the device itself and then synchronize it with the main application. So as a first step, uh, Gary is going to post um, report as finished quantity. And he was kind of slacking this afternoon, so he only produced five items. And just to demonstrate the uh, offline capabilities, the capabilities of, of collecting this data without internet connection, we're going to switch the once the posting is done. We're going to switch the uh, surface into, um, into airplane mode to sort of um, pretend that we're reporting production from the airplane. We're actually pretending that our surface doesn't have internet connection. Again, it, with Azure, uh, it, it, the data centers are very, very reliable. Yes, we do have a lot of customers in the remote locations, and it's one of the first questions typically come up for anybody who's going to a completely cloud environment, is what do we do, what, what's our mitigation for, for lack of internet connection. So in this case, we're now offline, and he is now, obviously productivity went up dramatically, he just completed 10 more, but also there's this craft quantity of two. So in this case, it didn't go directly to AX, it actually saved the data in the mobile device and it stored it for future synchronization. Uh, the way we designed it is automatically, as soon as the connection is restored, once we return to uh, Dynamics AX, it will automatically pick up synchronized transactions and post, post it in AX, actually report in AX. So for this exercise, we used AX2012, so that's not a, it's an on-premise application. If you're familiar with Report is Finished Journal in the production module, that's where this data will end up. So this order in this journal was basically uh, our quantity of five report is finished before the internet connection went down.
So that was the first, first journal, again, before the internet connection was lost. And then the second journal, I believe we had a quantity of 10, and the scrap quantity, air quantity of 2. So, um, it, like, yes, the key to this is that picked up the connection as soon as AX went online, as soon as the mobile device went online, they synchronized uh, simultaneously at the same time.